First thing I'd like to show you the uh, cutting of the slips from the two duck quills. So you want two duck quills, primary quills from the wings, one from the right, one from the left. So there's several ways you can do this. The easiest way, once you're used to doing it, is just to cut out and know the position on your scissors because you want them the same thickness. You can use a tool like this, which is a very simple tool to make. All it is, is two pins uh, taped to a, a doweling rod. One pin is longer than the other, so you can push that up against the edge of the quill and then put the other one in and measure the width of your quill. And the other one is, I have this little tool here with a barbless hook and use a different size hook. This is, this is the right size for the size 12 hook here. So we put that on and we just whip it up like that and we do the same on the other and then we cut out both the quills. So we'll start with a Mustard R30 size 12. So I've got sheer 14 oct brown. I'll just attach a little ways behind the hook eye. And go a little ways back. Remove that. And then I want to go forward again. Now what I want to do is put a stopper in. Just there. This will stop your thread moving when you do the pinch wrap. So I've put the two quill slips back to back. Measure the wing. Little pinch like that. And then I like to swap hands, let the pinch drop. And then I'll come back up, keeping the slips flat. And then I'll tighten and go back down at the back and we'll check the wings out. I'll just secure them. Those are looking good. Just split them with my dubby needle. Those are looking good. So we can go back a few turns and then we take our scissors and we want to trim this off at an angle like so we can go over the cut ends this gives us a little bit of a taper on the body we go forward and we can raise the wings now and we put a stopper in front Keep them upright. Those are looking perfect. Then we want to go back here, all the way to the bend. Ready for the tail. Now you can, I in mean, a lot of tires, put a figure of eight in between the wings to keep them open, but I don't find it really necessary. That works fine for me. Now we have some Coque de Lyon for the tail. So I want a few fibres of this. We'll just pull a bunch of fibres out like that. I put them together for the tail. Now we don't want these fluffy bits at the ends here. So we get rid of those. We want quite a long tail on this. I just want to flatten my thread. I'll go back right to the tail base. So I'll just make one turn here just to tack it in and then follow up with one more. We'll just check the tail and the length, that's good. Want a long tail on it like I said. Now we'll go forward over the body up to the wings and then we'll come back and build up a nice little taper. That'll do us just fine there. 
once we've got that nice taper we can go back to about there. I've got three moose mane hairs, two pink, one black and what we do is we just align the tips and we just trim off the first centimetre and then what we'll do is we'll just tack these in keeping them all together and we'll work our way back right to the tail base with the tying thread keeping the hairs parallel all the time We don't want to overstep the tail base because we'll put the tail out of skew. There we are, and then I can go back up. Remembering to correct your tying thread all the time. We go right up over the butts of the moose hair. and into the wing base. Take our three hairs and we'll start to wrap them parallel. All the way up. Looking good. And then we'll secure those right in at the wing base and we can go over a little bit back and then we'll come forward, take all three of them and attach them at the front. Put some tension on your tying thread. There we go. Pull the wings back. I just like to build up a little bit there so we have a better foundation for the hackle. That's good. And then we can go back here. A little bit into the abdomen. So I have enough room for a nice hackle. So I'm using a medium done hackle for this, so what I'd like to do first is just put a little bit of wax on my thread and go left to right and then we go right to left and then we go once behind and in front and that should keep your hackle nice and parallel 90 degrees to the hook shank and what we'll do is bend the hackle forward like that take it up we want to keep this even so we get a nice hackle wrap go in front and then I can take my scissors, trim that off there, pull the wings back again, just go over that. So it's not the slippery hackle stem that the hackle is going to wrap around, we've got the tying thread, that's good. Position that. You can see that there's one there already that's not playing. Get rid of that. We'll put our hackle plier on. And work our way forward. each turn close to the previous get into the wings and get another one in there 
And I don't want to push them forward, so then I'll pull them back. And we'll go up in front. Excellent. Get to there. Bring my tying thread up over the top. Release my hackle plier. And I want to do a couple of turns three over the hackle and then pull that back oh, two or three turns just to secure it correctly with finisher tighten that up we can remove that that and look at the wings those are good everything's looking good and that's the light car hill with the moose main body if you enjoy the videos please like share subscribe and thanks for watching